This is a call with a pretty disturbing scammer. Now, of course, we will comply with YouTube's terms of service, but you can definitely make out what this guy is saying. You don't have money, so you can buy food or you can buy software. So you can use that and you can do this thing. All right? I don't have money to buy food because I don't have... What? Yeah, see, because you are black... Excuse me? I've run across a bunch of vile scammers that say really stupid things. But again, I handle scammers a bunch of different ways. And this scammer, I think it's best said in the call itself. While I've got you on the phone, because you didn't accept my connection, I have the God mode powers, and especially because you say really terrible things about people. So um, I'm going to take care of your connection for you so you can't hurt anybody on any decks, okay? And I'll find all your friends as well. What I'm really talking about here with this scammer in particular is just shutting him out of his system. Honestly, what that means is banning his AnyDesk ID and then any other IDs that were connected on his network where there might be other scammers scamming people. This is all happening live on a stream in front of thousands of people. It's hard to DJ and kind of turn on and off what the scammer is saying, like muting him and things like that, because you want the audience to hear the ridiculous things that the scammers say, but when they go really unhinged and say vile things, you want that cut off as soon as possible. I was honestly ready to be done with the call immediately, but I wanted to inflict some damage on this guy, get him shut down and be done with it. Because again, is it even worth it to stay on the phone with this guy anymore? Now let's talk about real quickly where the scumbag is located. I've got Google Maps up here right now and we've got two points of interest. We've got Park Circus and we have Ripon Street. Now yes, if you've heard of Ripon Street, I'm gonna zoom in here because this is actually the exact location of where Babu from another video that we recently released was. We had his pinpoint location. And the interesting thing is this is a 15 minute drive in between these two points. So it's really close. We don't have the exact location of the scammer here, we have some good information to pinpoint where he is in this radius, but we didn't know exactly at the point where he was. And smack dab in the middle between Ripon Street and Park Circus is St. Xavier's College. There are a lot of young uh, teenagers and young adults that these scammer bosses are targeting to come work for their call centers because these kids are very well spoken in English and they work really hard and they wanna make money to help out their families. So the scammer bosses will actually recruit from these types of places to get what they call freshers to come work for them. Now it's good to know this general vicinity because this is and has been a hotbed for scammer activity. And it's good to use this information against the scammer in the call that we had. This call turns bad early on. So really it's just about me working in the background to get the AnyDesk's banned and even his friends banned as well so they can't scam other people. Thank you for calling reservation. Thank you for calling PayPal support. This is John Hart. Did you say reservations? PayPal support. This is PayPal support. Okay. I heard you say thank you for calling reservations. I, I'm hoping I hit the right button here. I'm trying to find the PayPal uh, customer care team. You're speaking with? I have an, a recent charge. It says something. I don't know. It says BTC, $349. And I'm trying to see what that is. Okay. Can you help me with your first and last name? Yes, it's Bridget. Can you spell me your first name? Thompson. It's B as in Bridget, mm -hmm. R as in Randy, mm -hmm. as in India, D as in Delhi, G as in George, E as in Echo, T as in Tom. Thompson. Yes. All right. And uh, when did you use your PayPal last time? I'll be honest, I didn't even know I had a PayPal. You don't have PayPal, even you are getting the email that you... Exactly, you're... so I'm a little bit nervous that somebody has maybe created something on my Chase account or something. I haven't even checked that today. Lord have mercy. So, Mr. Thompson, that uh, you're telling me on that uh, you do not have a PayPal account. But I can see uh, one PayPal account is active in Ohio. So, have you ever been in Ohio? Oh, goodness gracious. I mean, I did. I had maybe a volleyball tournament there. So, you you did not try to buy a Bitcoin for the amount of three forty nine last night. Oh my, heavens, no! I did not. Did it be something that was right. taken out of my Chase account, or uh, Mr. Thompson? Oh, no, it's uh, not. It's not Mr. It's Ms. 
Uh, all right, Miss uh, Thompson. As I can see that uh, someone is there, like who is using the PayPal account under your name and your uh, information without your knowledge, and he's trying to buy some bitcoins uh, last night. And second charge, which is about to uh, come for 589 as well. So there are two transactions which will be deducted from your account. Okay, so are you well, the how one? Do I, how can I cancel that? I can just go ahead and just like verify your identity and uh, block that transactions and block that person also who's using the PayPal under your name. Okay. For that, you just need to uh, follow my instruction. So can you just tell me which phone do you have right now? Is it Android phone or iPhone? Oh, no, darling. I don't have, I don't do any of those smartphones. Um, I just actually had my identity stolen. Uh, <laughs> I use, I mean, I, I can, I guess I can go onto my desktop. Um, so, uh, can you just like turn on your desktop? Yeah. All right. Uh, so, Mr. Thompson, you just need to uh, open any desk. Okay. Click on yeah. I'm aware and accept. Okay. I see that it says PayPal verification. Yeah, click on accept. Uh, what do you see? PayPal verification server. Just give me one minute. Okay. And now uh, it just says profile default. Yeah, click on profile default. First click on profile default, sir. Okay. Oh, no, click it's ma'am. It's not sir. Um. Okay, ma'am. Click on full access. Okay, I did that. <clears throat> okay, let me check here. Are using a any desk trial version. Okay. What does that mean? So it means uh, 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 you are. I think uh, you don't have a money, so you can buy food or you can buy software. So you can use that and you can do this thing. All right. I don't have money to buy food because I don't have. What? Yeah. See, be, because you are black. Excuse me? So you're about to hear me name two specific places, one being Park Circus and the other Rippin Street. Now between this 15 minute drive is where the scammer is located. Where do you live? I live near Park Circus. Are you serious? Yes, I live near Park Circus near you. Okay, let me check that one, Muller. One of the things that this scammer is going to do is he's going to put a password on my system. Wait, you're setting a password? What are you doing? No, I'm just going to confirm that, sir. Oh, why'd you set a password? Sorry? Now, it really doesn't do anything to me because we can just reset the computer. But think about being an actual victim. Scammers do this all the time. They'll change the password, they'll lock you out. Why'd you set a password? Now, what out? do you see on screen? It so says you... signing out. Uh -huh. They'll hold your computer ransom. If you kind of figure out that you're being scammed, they'll say, well, you still need to give us money if you want your computer back. Of course, I'm going to play along. But think about it if you were an actual victim and something like this happened to you. Yeah, you need, you need to open any of this. I think I lost the connection. Oh, OK. Let me let me try to sign mm -hmm. in. Let me get back in. Oh, it says incorrect password. I can't get oh, in. <clears throat> you can't get in? No. Let me check that one. How do you how do you get in? I can't yeah. get in. I can't get uh, into yeah. my computer. Yeah, you will be you will be receive a message. Click on I'm aware and accept. No, I just hit dismiss because I don't know what's going on on my screen. Okay, it says it's waiting for it says it's waiting for uh, confirmation, I guess, because I just hit accept on my side. Waiting, waiting for confirmation. Yeah. Okay, let, let let me check that one. So just give me it's one. It's not right? sir, it's ma'am. Uh, you can think you are sir. Is there any problem? It's ma'am. It's not sir. No, I think you are sir. All right, you have two options. Okay, you accept. Uh, me which you option? accept, or you're going to be gone forever. I think one of the most fulfilling things that we've been doing recently is giving the scammers these ultimatums. So just you have two options. You can either give me access to your system or I'm going to ban you just again because I was done with it. It's funny. This doesn't have to go in the video, but obviously it goes from that one video where the scammer's like, you have two options. 
I'm going to do this or I'm going to do that. And it's kind of a joke within the office. And tomorrow I'll put you in the Hindu paper if you want. That's fine. Okay. Suck my d- Okay. Suck my d- or else I will f- your mom. Now I'm going to give this guy one last chance. He can either let me connect to his any desk or else I'm going to ban him. And don't get me wrong, I'm probably going to ban him anyway. But before that happens, a quick cyber hygiene tip from our partners at NordVPN. I was on Nord's website and I was reading through their blogs and they had a question and said, what makes a good security question? You know, questions like, what was your first pet's name? Where were you born? What middle school did you go to? Things like that. Now, Nord in their blog says that these answers need to be four things. They need to be memorable, consistent, unique, and unpredictable. The bottom line is if you don't want to be found out, then don't put all your information on social media, guys. Hackers are looking for this specifically to be able to take over your account. Another thing that I'm really big on is encrypting my internet traffic. Now with NordVPN, they've got lightning quick servers and just with a single click, my traffic is encrypted and my IP address is hidden. Even when I'm messing with scammers, I'm using Nord. I've got them on my phones, hosts, VMs, everywhere, you name it. They also just released a brand new product for free called MeshNet, which allows you to access any device around the world securely. Go protect yourself over at nordvpn.com slash pierogi. And now it's time to get back into the call and see how this idiot gets banned. Uh, we gone forever? Yes. Uh, um, click on accept. Click on accept. Okay, so here's the options. Like accept. I said, you either hit accept yep. on your side. I keep hitting sir, accept on my to- side. It's not sir, it's ma'am. Or you're gone from it, or forever <laughs> on any decks. Okay. Sir, you need to click on accept It's first. not sir, it's ma'am, okay? Sir, how can I believe you? You are sir. It's ma'am, it's not sir. You are sir, you are no, not No, I'm not. Ma'am. It's, no, it's you ma'am. Are. And you changed my password. No, I don't change your password. Yes, you did. Can you click on and allow and accept? And you rejected it. This is the last, click on allow and the last time click on allow. it accept on your side. This is your sir, last chance. It's not sir, it's ma'am. This is your last chance. You need to accept that. All right. You blocked login. Okay. You're just going to be banned. Hold on. Give me one second. I'm going to ban this number real quick. Are you still ordering meals from Momo's? No. No? One second. I'm just getting you banned real quick. Your any desk ID is 755-176-385. We've been working with any desk, as you guys know, to mess with scammers as much as possible, get them disconnected from the AnyDesk network. They can't contact their victims. They can't find new victims, which has been really fun. I have the God mode powers, and especially because you say really terrible things about people. So um, I'm going to take care of your connection for you so you can't hurt anybody on AnyDex, okay? And I'll find all your friends as well. So I'm just going to leak your AnyDex pass, your AnyDex code. Let me see where you are as well, where you're located. Because I think you're from Park Circus. Yes. You need to click on accept. I, I'm trying to, but you, you locked me out of my computer. Like a no. like a computer technician no. that you no. are. So I am going to lock you no, out of the I'm AnyDesk network. I'm going to lock no. you out of the AnyDesk network now. How about oh, that? You lock my AnyDesk network? So you have, you, have, you have literally 10 seconds. This is your last chance. You accept you my request to, I'm, or you're I'm gone. I'm giving to you 20 seconds to oh, your no. last It says login disallowed. It says login no. disallowed. Hello? Yeah, hello. Yeah, you need to Are check you? on your any, any yeah, desk. I am. Your, uh, <clears throat> any desk, the, on which uh, address it's 889. Are, eight Are you Rippin Street? Are you Rippin Street or are you Park Circus? Where are you? Rippin Street or Park Circus? Oh, wait, you can't connect it to any desk anymore, can you? Try to connect to any desk. Try to connect. You have no connection, do you? You're awfully quiet over there in Park Circus. Awfully quiet. I told you I had more power than you did. I asked you, and I told you if you didn't do what I said, then I would take care of business. Piece of crap. So from there, we banned his first ID, and then he actually gives my any desk to one of his friends on a different network, you could tell, and then we got that one banned too. So not only did we get him banned, but we got his friend banned. They couldn't connect to anyone. They couldn't scam anybody. Kind of a double whammy, you know? I'm going to call him back really quickly. Thank you for calling support. How can I help you? Hey, I see you're trying to connect back into my computer. 
Um, I already banned. No, I'm not. I already banned. I'm not trying. I already okay. banned that first one, and this next one's about to be banned too. So. Sorry. This next one's about to be banned as well. So banned? the one seven six seven three six four four eight. So you can either connect. You can either let me connect right now, or else, oh, you blocked. You blocked remote connections on yours. So I will just ban it from being able to connect to anybody. Okay? Because I already did it with the last one. And I'm going to do it with this one. You understand me? Beta? Thank you. Okay, Beta? Broca Beta? They don't like that at all. So, um... Oh, it's banned. Okay. That one's banned, too. Uh, hopefully everyone in chat knows and understands SP does not support that language. I do not support that language. So, that guy tried to connect back in through another any desk and we've banned that one now too. Um, is it hard for them to create a new account? It doesn't matter if they create a new account. It doesn't matter if they image their system. It doesn't matter any of that. They're banned guys. And what we'll do is we'll find all the other ones on their network and they'll be banned. I'm going to call them back. Oh, they shut down the number. Well, I shut down your any desk. I remember you pissed me off because I really wasn't going into just ban their IDs. I, like, but he annoyed me so much that I was just like, all the stuff he was saying, I was like, screw this guy. But I feel like now in like the past couple of videos, you can tell when I'm like really pissed off. They don't you like just, when we connect in and I don't like when they say stupid stuff, so. I like it when it's just like, all right, I'm shutting you down, that's it. Yeah. I'm not I gonna give time. you a platform to just sit here and be an idiot on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yep. Unless they're like screaming, like if you've been used <laughs> yeah, that, that yeah. <laughs> Indians are more clever than you. <laughs>